top three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to top three ghosts trapped on video. New week, new episode, and new fake to report. I would like to talk about an hoax in particular that numerous very famous paranormal channels have reported as possible, I'll show you immediately. This woman named Rachel claims she started shooting a video on her newly installed television in the bedroom when she noticed a dark shadow watching her, reflected on the left side of the TV. Initially she films the part of the curtains to show that there is no one who can be reflected. Too bad that in the final part of the video, she forgot to tell her partner to move after the end of the shoot and not during the end of it. As many of you know, we work to eliminate this type of video from our analytics, which we believe to be blatantly fake videos. If you are new to this community and you like our videos don't forget to follow us, so let's start with our ranking. The Abandoned Haunted Town The video in third position this week is really interesting, we are in Ohio, in the United States, where the group of investigators known as the Foreman Brothers, experienced professionals of the paranormal for many years, they go to investigate the presence of malicious entities at a famous abandoned city in the region, where horrendous family crimes such as brutal murders, suicides and even beheadings have been committed. Broadcast and live streaming on March 6, 2022 on the YouTube channel entitled Paranormal Nightmare TV Series, the video shows the three Foreman brothers scouting the place. In Ohio filming tonight, you can see the location behind me. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> I'll check, okay. if you guys see this place, go. it's pretty, uh, pretty creepy. See all these buildings, this is an abandoned town, neighborhood. So the houses just go and go and go. Arrived on site, the boys prepare the equipment to start shooting video at sunset, but from the beginning of their patrols, in live streaming they capture something really creepy on video, pay attention to the next video images. Hello, Germany. Well, we did a walkthrough and we cleared the place, so there shouldn't be anybody in any of the buildings. Immediately after having crossed the tunnel, the cameraman turns to film the adjacent houses, but from the windows of both houses, two apparitions can be seen. In the first window you can see a grey face. In the second what appears to be the ghostly figure of a woman moving inside the building. We've heard this place is pretty active, a lot of deaths, suicides, murders. Just down the street, one of the houses we're going into, a lady was decapitated. And they found her body on the uh, front porch. In some comments, someone pointed to a strange gray figure on the right side where indicated by the arrow. In reality, if you look closely, it is a courtyard gate. Thank you, Anthony. The boys continue the exploration where they will then declare in the comments that the place is Campbell. They managed to film something really interesting and really hard to produce as fake since it was a live broadcast. Surely this place has a dark past and several deaths suffered. The Echo of Sylvia The story behind the video at number 2 on our chart is about the most brutal murder ever committed in Indianapolis, United States. 
A 16-year-old girl named Sylvia Marie Likens from a poor family of Carousel, was entrusted to another family who in 1965 abused her, tortured her, locking her up in a cellar until she died of cerebral hemorrhage due to beatings and malnutrition. The house where the murder was committed was demolished in 2009 and the space became a parking lot for a church. A year earlier, in 2008, a YouTube user named Carlos Coy was walking near the house with a friend and on June 17, 2008 he posted this video on his channel titled Carlos Coy 135. I don't think it's a I'm going to say it now. You like poster. This is a freaky ass house. I know, it's going to food. This is where that little girl was uh, tortured and raped and killed during the 60s. She wasn't raped. She wasn't raped, but she was tortured. This is a weird ass house. What up, Columbia? Does that top work? What was the basement? Like, where did this is the basement where the little girl was tortured. Dude, come here. This is fucking freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That's fucked. Oh, hell no. This picture is serious, too. Dude, I ain't fucked. There's a picture of the stairs. Have you got the sort of guy. That's what Were you able to notice any oddities? As soon as Carlos starts filming video as he walks from a distance, the internal shutters of the left upstairs window seem to move, as if someone were there. The thing repeats itself a few seconds later, same window. As Carlos goes to the entrance, he explains to his friend what happened in this house, and as he films the facade on the first floor, something seems to appear in one of the windows. The oddities don't end here, Carlos tries to film the interior of the basement where Sylvia was locked up. And when he is about to leave, an incredible terrified female voice seems to ask for help twice. Dude, I There's a picture of the stairs. Have you got sort of guy? That's what there are few videos that leave me frightening and breathless guys, it's also difficult to imagine that Carlos and his friend have all this up to make a joke, a hoax. If there was ever an echo of Sylvia's pain still in that house, this video could be the proof. When courage is no longer enough. In episode 24 of this series we told you about an old American man who lives alone in a house in Tennessee. Completely inexperienced in social networks, he decides to open a TikTok channel with the bizarre name, Dude My House Is Haunted, to publish some videos about some paranormal manifestations that were happening at his home last summer in 2021, which he was amused by and asked in the comments what people thought. 
But the situation begins to deteriorate in mid-March 2022 when one morning he gets up, goes to have coffee in the kitchen and finds this. Well, as you can see, it's morning, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I got to get to work. Uh, but when I got up this morning to get my coffee, uh, I walked into the kitchen and saw this. So I guess you guys are right that uh, activity seems to be picking up because I have been, you know, doing renovations. I replaced all this stuff, this uh, dishwasher, this stove, the oven hood there. Uh, but this morning when I came into the kitchen, I noticed the cabinet was open. And then I noticed this chair. Uh, so I checked the ring video and it definitely <sighs> freaked me out. So anyway. But we have to go back a few months to understand that the situation was starting to deteriorate inside his house, exactly in November 2021, when the man started not being able to sleep anymore, he heard footsteps, noises during the night, whispers, which started to shock him until he realized that the situation was serious. Hey everyone, um... Remember I said I didn't know how I'd react if, um... This thing started touching. <sighs> it started walking towards me. After a year of this, I, I can't stay in the house anymore. Um, and what happened this morning, I don't want to trust that it's not going to happen again. But the, uh... The whispering... It was, um, a lot of people. People. I, I don't know if my wife is in there, but these these people seem stuck. They were all saying, help me. <laughs> I 
And after this tremendous experience, the man managed to capture something truly incredible in broad daylight that testifies that the voices and noises he had heard are real. Hey guys. My uh Paul Walker is back. I'm gonna go into the hallway and see if I can hear. The man is sure that among the voices, there isn't that of his deceased wife, but then who are they? Why they are torturing him to exasperation? From the analysis of all videos, from the context, from the attitudes it is really difficult to believe that it is all acted, and what do you think? Is he in danger? Friends I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you were impressed by it, please share it with your friends, leave a like to help us grow the channel and always bring you curated content. Follow us on our social networks and on our official YouTube channel, I wish you good night.